There are times when you're gonna wanna use split shot when you're nymphing. It's not fun. It doesn't cast very well. You can hit yourself with it, but there are times when you wanna get down quickly into a deep pool that a split shot or two is gonna help you get down. So I'm gonna show you how to rig with split shot, not very hard. You're gonna need a knot or you're gonna need a tippet ring because split shot will slide down your leader no matter what you do. And you don't wanna put just an overhand knot in your tippet because that's gonna really weaken the tippet. You need to put a knot like a surgeon's knot or a blood knot in your leader and then put the split shot above there. So you figure out how far you want the split shot from your flies. In very slow, calm water, you may wanna be as far as 18 inches away from your flies with your split shot. In fast, deep water, you may wanna be as close as four to eight inches. Experiment a bit with where you place the split shot. So I'm gonna take about a six inch piece of tippet and I'm gonna tie a surgeon's knot in my leader. It's another reason that I don't, not wild about split shot because you have, have to add an extra knot uh, and extra knots can only cause you problems. But I don't know of a way to keep split shot from sliding no matter what kind you use without putting a knot or a tippet ring in your leader. So I'm gonna tie this surgeon's knot in there and then I've got, you know, maybe eight inches below there you're gonna put your split shot above this knot and that way it won't slide. Then another thing you can do is you can actually put your split shot on, on one of these tag ends if you'd like, that's fine too. And then sometimes you get hung up on the split shot and you pull on it and it'll come off. They put a little knot in the end, put a little overhand knot in the end of this tippet. You can put your split shot on there. That tends to tangle a bit more and putting it in line is less likely to give you a tangle. So I like to put it in line right on the leader. I'd advise you to start with the smallest split shot you think you need because it's really easy to add another small one. It's really tough to get this stuff off. You can sometimes pry it out with a, with a knife or with your fingernail, but uh, there's no easy way of getting split shot off. And if you put too much on, then you have to cut that knot, slide the split shot off, tie a new knot. So start with a small one. Smart, start with the smallest you think you're going to need. And let's see, I think this one here, this water is pretty deep. So I'm going to start with a kind of a medium sized one. You do want to use a pair of forceps because this non-toxic split shot is very hard. And if you use your teeth to crank down on it, you're going to, you're going to crack a tooth eventually. So what you do is you get your leader, and you find the little slot in the split shot and you just get it in that slot and then you crimp it tight with your forceps. And that'll slide down to the knot, but it'll stay there. So we have a nice deep pool here and it's fairly short. So I don't have much time to get a drift to get the flies down to the fish. I don't think one split shot is enough. So now I'm going to add a second one. It's also a good idea if you're adding more weight, you need to get deeper, probably to bring your indicator a little bit higher up on your leader so that you can get more depth below the indicator. And a little bit of depth did it. Oh, it was fast. So split shot, avoid it when you can, but there are some times to get really deep into a tight pocket, you need to put it on your leader. Mm -hmm.